Devils hollering at you once again. And man, listen to this update. This is courtesy of uh, your tango. Autopsy reveals Jelani Day's body was found with organs removed after FBI suggested he died by suicide. All right, thank you, Neil Tipton, for bringing us this story. This came out uh, yesterday. People on social media are demanding justice for Jelani Day after the findings from his autopsy report were released. Day 25 was first reported missing on August 25th after he didn't show up to class at Illinois State University for several days. Two days after his disappearance, his car was found in Peru, a small city an hour north of Bloom Bloomington, Illinois, in the wooded area. Nine days after his car was found, a body was discovered in the Illinois River on September the 4th, later being confirmed as the body of Jelani Day on September 23rd. How did Jelani Day die? Police have not released an official cause of death in Day's case, and the FBI are still investigating his death. The autopsy performed found that Day's body was discovered without several organs, including his brain, liver, and spleen. The FBI had initially theorized that Day's death may be a suicide and, according to Day's mother, were slow to investigate any potential suspects. However, the autopsy findings may debunk their theory. His eyeballs had reportedly been removed. His front, top, and bottom teeth were missing. His jawbone had been sawed out, and his genitalia were unidentifiable. Now I'm going to read this again. His eyeballs had reportedly been removed. His front, top, and bottom teeth were missing. His jawbone had been sawed out, and his genitalia were unidentifiable. The report added that Day's organs were completely liquefied. Day's family attorney, Haley Benzer, is currently trying to seek answers on how his body could have decomposed so severely, saying that the evidence collected so far su suggests that Jelani did not end up in that river willingly, and I bet he didn't. This is what they've done to a 25-year-old grown man. <coughs> Excuse me. Bodies generally take more time to decompose in water, meaning that the, decom uh, the decomposition that occurred to Dave's body couldn't have happened from being dumped into the river. The body generally breaks down more slowly in water than in open air. A body decomposing in open air for a week may look similar to a body that has been underwater for two weeks. However, Bisner did confirm that Dave's body had suffered innumerable fish and turtle bites and was maggot infested. Police have called Jelani Day's death and disappearance very suspicious. Benzer also said that Day had never in his life been to Peru, Illinois, and that his phone still remains missing, but that his wallet was found in a different location than where his car and body were found. Even before his body was found, Day's mother, Carmen Bolden Day, called for the authorities to show the same urgency and attention for her son's case as had been done for Gabby Petito's case. I was very frustrated with the fact that Jelani hadn't been getting the coverage, Carmen Day said to the Chicago Sun-Times. Jelani has been missing for 24 days. It appears that help has ceased. I'm imploring, pleading, and asking that the police still pay attention and look for my son. Hashtag justice for Jelani Day began trending on Twitter immediately after the details of his autopsy were complete. Many people found the circumstances surrounding his death to be disturbing, with many people connecting his death to similar unsolved cases involving black men. Here's, here's what... Uh, most uh, most that Ed uh, had to say. Both Kendrick Johnson and Jelani Day cases very similar. A cop killed Kendrick and covered up all his tracks. Only something that police can do. 
Jelani case is basically cold. No leads, no evidence. Everything was wiped clean and tracks were was erased. Only something the cop can do. So that's what that looks like uh at Lady B. That's what she was thinking. And you know, you, you, somebody was doing something, especially to remove those kind of organs. The average person don't know how to do that. To identify Dave's body, the coroner had to use dental records and DNA analysis that the family had previously provided to aid the search. Many people are outraged that coverage surrounding Dave's disappearance and murder has been limited. Dave's mother described her son as ambitious and driven and was bound for great things. He was focused. Bolden Day said in an interview with ABC News, he was energetic. He was full of life. Jelani was a person that you couldn't help but love. There are no suspects at this time, but police are working to find out Day's whereabouts during the last days that he was seen alive. On October the 9th, friends and family of Jelani Day gathered at Danville High School to celebrate the 25-year-old's life and lasting legacy. Somebody knows something. Somebody seen something, bold and day said. I need somebody to say something. And boy, let me tell you, this is a very, very demonic. This is very satanic what's going on over here. You know, and this isn't the first case. There's many cases of our people coming up missing. And then when they do find them, their organs are gone. And we all know that there's a black market for organs anyway. And y'all have to just really, <coughs> excuse me. Y'all really have to check out this video. It's a little long, so I won't include it in this. I probably include it in, in, in a, uh, part two, but man, you just have to see it especially when you understand the context of, context of this story. It is just really unfortunate, you know? But, uh, man, I'm trying to tell you, I, my heart and my prayers go out to his family. It, it's just outrageous, man. You know, it's you, these are just things that, how can your organs liquefy? Who stole this, this young man's eyeballs? Who stole his intelligent brain that he had? You know, who done this to this young man? And why wasn't there urgency to find out what happened? You know, it's just, it's just sad, man. It's sad all the way around, you know? And, uh, man, drop your comments down below. You know, what do y'all think happened to, to Jelani Day? And you know, you two and, and, and our family, we have to be a voice for victims like this because Mr. Day can't speak. He can't tell us what happened, you know? And I definitely try to be a voice in righteousness in righteousness for my people. And 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 I'm and I mean from a perspective of spirituality first and then the worldly perspective. Because if you're just looking at it from a worldly view, you won't understand what you're up against. And we're all spirits, which means we're dealing with spirits. And all of us are not good spirits. There are some wicked spirits. You know? And nobody righteous or nobody good would have done this to Mr. Jelani Day. That's how we know we're dealing with wicked spirits. Drop your comments, man. My heart and prayers go out to his family, to his mom. And uh, hopefully, you know, those that are responsible will be brought to justice. Share this video. Let's keep his name relevant and let's get some answers. Shalom.